Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Coolio, and today we are doing a first look impressions video for Gigantic. So I just came out with a, a news video about Gigantic, talking about how its open beta starts uh, next week on December 8th. Well, it's closed beta testing for those of us that are on Windows 10 are in for free. And then if you're on uh, Xbox One, you got to get a, a beta key in order to get into it. So I've tried this game in the past, uh, way before uh, Motiga was acquired. The publishing rights were acquired by Perfect World Entertainment. So it's been a long time since I've played the game, but I don't want to play the tutorial. I actually want to just jump in and just experience the fun of this game. Now, one of the things people talk about is it's an extremely fast-paced, hero-based shooter slash MOBA. Now, it's not like your traditional MOBA where you've got minions and towers and things like that. Rather, it's just the heroes that are fighting each other, and then there's these like specialized summon creatures that you can have, these guys right here, that you can summon on different towers. So some of the ones that I've got here, on my, these are the creatures that I've currently got. I've got Summer Bloomer, the Cerberus Majoris, and Mountain Cyclops. And depending on which character or which creature that you have, it has different abilities. So this one says, uh, environmental impact cre uh, creates protective wall near its location. Cyclops Smash, leaping attack that stuns enemies. Skills punch out, powerful melee attack combo, ground slam, shockwave that interrupts and weakens. The Cerberus Majoris, he is reveals enemies on the mini map within 42.5 meters. Hal dazes and deals high damage. Fireball fires projectiles at enemies and blame flame blitz dashing attack that ignites enemies. And then the final one is mainly like a healing creatures up creates up to two healing blooms that heal one ally for 300 HP. Focus skill restoration heals target ally for 85 HP per second. Skills and tangling roots ground projectile that slows. And there's a bunch of other ones that you can you can like I can switch out this guy if I wanted to. This guy creates healing blooms, but he's got a different. I'm assuming it's probably different. Healing Blooms also grant invisibility and speed boost. He doesn't have that, so this is kind of like a... I don't know if it's a buff. Got 9,000 HP. I'm sure there's a, a better difference between the two of them, but really the only ones I can tell is that this one has an extra ability behind it. I don't know if this is like a higher... Takes two focus to do this one. I'm assuming it maybe takes longer to summon that one. Uh, and then we've got Yeti, Cyclops, Storm Drake, and Fire Drake. Let's do Fire Drake instead of that guy. Let's see how that turns out. Now let's look at the shop. Right now you can buy some heroes or buy new creatures. I think we've got all the creatures unlocked during the beta test. And I think m most of the heroes are unlocked. We've got Lord Gnosis, Margrave, Tito the Swift, Trip, which is everyone's favorite character, of course. Woo. Uncle Sven, who's my favorite, Vadasi, the newest hero, Beckett, Imani, HK206, Vodin, Charnock, Mozu, and Griselma. Looks like we have maybe like another page. Zenobia and Eiling. Ailing. Ailing? Eiling? I hope I'm saying that right. Let's see if maybe we can click on it. We can look at some of the different heroes. Now, this is Margrave. He is a heavy armor, melee only character. He's got extremely high defense. Good, uh, medium mobility, medium offense, and he's not the most utilized character, if you know what I mean by that. Uh, we've got some different skills, if you want to run through all the skills of the different characters. And skins, it looks like we've got the Fallen. I don't know if there's supposed to be any other kind of skins for him. I'm assuming there are, there will be, but we can't check them out right now until the actual open beta. The hero, captain... Not really, there's no difference as far as I can tell. Maybe we can find somebody that does have a skin. This one does. Trip's got her regular assassin skin and Citadel of Amber. That's pretty cool. You must own Trip to unlock this skin. Let's see. His is Winter Cedar. That's actually really, really cool looking. Wow. I have nothing that I can do to actually buy some of these skins. So we might just have to skip over some of this stuff. So let's see, let's look at the different heroes. Which one do I wanna play? I wanna play as, I guess it doesn't have like a, a filter thing right now. Let's look at the free ones that we've got. I guess the unlocked ones. So these are the eight that we can currently play. I either want to play as Beckett or Wu. So I will decide that once we jump into the game. Let's go to home. Now you got where you just play regularly, you got a practice arena, a little tutorial, and some training videos on how to play the game. And you've got these things, draw your daily fortune cards. Now these, you can't just like click on one and then you automatically get it. These are more like uh, bonuses and like kind of like chests and other games similar to this where you can unlock them through different uh, challenges and achievements. So for instance, complete your first match, I'll get 300 
of their jewels. I'm hoping that's what it's called. And plus 500 prestige. And then up to number six, I got to reach rank account 10, which I'm only one. As you can see, I've made a little bit of progress. And I can actually do a daily draw where I can pick a new card that I can kind of work on. So win two matches while solo queuing. Earn three... Earn three Nemesis or Arch enemy badges as Wu. Heal other allied heroes or creatures for 10,000 total as Vadasi. Maybe we'll go ahead and get Wu. Maybe we'll pick Wu as our character to play. So I can now start working towards that and unlock it. And it'll give me prestige points uh, plus their special coin, which I can use in their shop. So before we jump in, let's go ahead, go to the shop, go to the heroes, and let's check out Wu's abilities before I actually jump in and play him. He's got no other uh, uh, skins. His basic melee attack, he has a three attack melee combo. Next, for his first ability, we have Splash Kick, Rising Kick that pushes enemies. Press right mouse button again, and it's a powerful downward kick. So it's like a double combo kick. Crashing Waves, two attacks. Second attack interrupts. Tongue Lash, pull one enemy towards you. And then for his ultimate, Typhoon's Fury launches on hit. On use, you gain plus 20 or 30 or 40 armor, depending on its rank. Uh, and plus 30, 45, or 60% damage for 4 seconds. Hitting with an, any attack extends these bonuses. So you can... So he's kind of like... Let's look at his overview real quick. He's an acrobatic martial artist. I'm assuming he... Oh, right there. Yep, he is an assassin class. And that's my favorite. So let's go ahead and jump into a game. Play Gigantic. I am going to be playing as this guy. Select one, and you have selected one. Am I allowed to? I don't know what that means. Select more, select one or more heroes for matchmaking. I, I just want Wu. Let's jump in. I wonder if like you can pick which heroes that you want to play as, and then when it when it queues you up, it'll pick you up with other players that haven't chosen those heroes. So I don't know how long the queue times will be. So I think I will skip this part and then come back once we've actually jumped into it. So I'll be right back. All right, welcome back everyone. We finally got into a match. I'm playing as Wu. I call, oh no, somebody already picked him. Come on. No, please let me play Wu. Let me play him. All right, well then I guess I'll play as Beckett. Yes, 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 confirm. Guys, I got Wu. I got him, ready. All right, this will be fun. It literally took me took me 20 minutes to get into this game, okay? So for those of you that want that eventually jump into the game, I highly recommend when you get to the hero selection screen for uh, for queuing is pick five heroes because the more heroes you have, the more chance you have at actually jumping into the game. So it looks like we're just waiting for this guy, HK206, thou beast. I kind of wish they'd have like a little chat feature right here so we could see what everyone's talking about so we could pick our heroes a little bit better. Now the game is still in alpha and open beta or in closed beta and open beta starts next week though I feel like there's still a lot of features that this game is missing but it's all about the gameplay right? It's all about how fun is the game which we're gonna find out in about 18 seconds. I got woo. I wish there was like a little way I'm pretty sure there's probably a button I could press to uh to go over his abilities um but I'm I'm too nervous to to select anything and end up ruining <laughs> um, my chances of playing. Okay, here we go, here we go. Looks like I'm the first one to load in. We've got a Zenobia, Beckett, Trip, Wu, and Imani on the other team. Watch out for that trip, because apparently I found out if the, if the enemy team has a trip that's really, really good, it can be a pain in the butt to play against. So watch out for her. I'm playing as a melee assassin. So I'm going to be looking out for kills. They don't really have any tanky characters on our team. I think Charnock might be a tanky, but I'm only thinking that because he's a little bit bigger of a looking character. All right, so you start off on this boat, these flying boats, and you can fly off. Now, in order to upgrade your abilities, hold down the left control. Let's see. Uh, this is my melee attack, my splash kick, my crashing wave. I'm going to do this. Your attacks interrupt and deal more damage. Deals more damage after using any other skill. Let's do that. Cyclone click. Kick. Let's jump right into it. Woo! I've actually never seen or played this map. So let's see. There's not really lanes in the map per se. Let's see. There might be an enemy team over here. Now, in order to summon, I can hold down number two to summon him. 
And then you gotta actually sit here and wait for them to, to pull up. Now I could run over there, I see... I see an enemy. I will say, from the last time I played this game, the controls just feel so much better. Uh, when you land, cooldown is reduced. Let's do this one. I'm going for full damage here. Let's see if I can get in there and maybe wow, land some damage. Who's attacking it? We got a kill by a teammate. I want to get in on this action. Looks like there's something going on over here. It looks like we actually have a... Woo, this is fast. Oh my gosh, this is so fast. Woo, that's what I'm talking about, guys. I got a kill. First kill, first kill for me. I'm actually really, really impressed on how smooth the game has been running. I, like, the last time I tried it, way back in their alpha, it felt like it wasn't running very good. Let's go ahead for my ultimate. 15% basic attack damage, plus 10 front enemy. Um, let's do attack from behind. We got, let's take out this young Cerberus. Oh, it stuns you. Forgot. That's really... I like the interesting concept of instead of having towers, you have these creatures. Now remember, it reveals an enemy within a 45 meter radius. If you look at the... Uh, the map at the top right, you can see that we have one as well. Oh. Okay, so it looks like we're actually doing better. We have more experience, so we've gained the upper hand, which means that we can attack this guy. Maybe I should run away. I'm not entirely sure when we're allowed to attack him. Oh, attack in two seconds over the top. I'm a, I'm a moron. Oh, I died. I died. I like there was just so much going on. It was crazy. Let's see where is I respawn in 12 seconds. I can spectate by switching different heroes, going back and forth. There's our trip. The enemy team has their giant right in the center. The big dragon guy. Look at that. I love how epic this game feels. Wow, this, like I'm, I'm really, really enjoying what's happening. Uh, so we've got... He's only got two hearts left on his... On their big dragon dude. We got three hearts left on ours. I think once all two are taken down, then we are good to... That's when we win the game. So watch out for that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on, let's do this. Big damage, big damage numbers. Oh yeah, boy. That was epic. I really like, I'm I'm so impressed right now at everything that's happening. Let's go ahead and do, let's bump this up. Downward kick, it's a large area. Let's slow the target down. Let's make it so they can't run away. Oh, this is so epic. I'm having so much fun right now. Now I do I do feel like I'm I'm not really sure on the objective of what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, did you see that kill? Did you see that? I think someone's healing me, but it's hard to tell sometimes. Boom, got the kill on her. She got me. There was no way I was gonna run away. I, I, I had I had so much low stealth. I will say I'm I'm honestly thoroughly impressed. Like this kind of has blown my mind away on how on almost how good it feels. Okay, so I think there's uh, some numbers up at the top um, that kind of explain where the points damage in the system is currently on all of our heroes. Boom, I got the kill. Oh my gosh, I am literally in love with this game right now. The game just looks fantastic. It's running so well. Like, oh man, this is just wonderful. It's time to get my revenge on you, jerk. You're not going to be able to beat me. I'm just saying. Thank you. 
the heal, get the heal, get the heal, get the heal, get the heal. Boom, revenge, jerk. Boom, what up? Sorry, I think I was supposed to be attacking, uh... <laughs> I was supposed to be attacking the enemy, but to be honest, I really don't know what I was doing. Okay, I need to find someone that can heal me. Let's go ahead and bump up my basic attack. Or let's skill, skill specialization. Getting a leg up gives you plus 5 stamina. Uh, has shorter cooldown, gives you plus 15 armor on the front end. Gives you more focus on hit. Uh, gather a leg up. I think I've been focusing mainly on his target down like that. So let's do that. Let's take out this tower right here. And see if we can't... Um, get ourselves... I think I'm... Uh, Yeah, there was no way I was going to be able to take that tower out. Boom! Kill by teammate! Way to go, teammate! So it looks like we're at 90%. The enemy team is collecting a point over here. I'm going to see if I can't go stop it. Maybe not the best idea. Let's get out of there. Okay, it's time to attack in about 20 seconds. We're gonna actually see our giant come flying in right there, which is freaking epic. You can't escape me, girl, you can't escape me, what up? What up, you dead boy? We're going for it, we're going for it! I'm actually gonna get an enemy kill right there. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Ultimate up! That is what I'm talking about. Our creature is under attack. Oh man, we gotta go to the center. They got theirs up to 100%, so they were able to attack us. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa! Let's get out of there. Keep an eye on your stamina. That's actually pretty key right there. I'm gonna go up around this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, I'm stunned. Oh, I got the kill. They've got most of the... Uh... Ooh, oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got killed. It's all right, it's all right. Let's bump some of these abilities up. Let's go off my basic attack. Dodging gives you plus 25% speed. After cyclone click hits, each left mouse blink hit gives you plus 10 armor. Uh, let's do... Uh, let's pick something else. Let's go F. Um, critical hit, still 10% more damage. Let's do that. That sounds good to me. We gotta protect our Guardian! But to be honest, they haven't been doing very good, the enemy team. Like, as you can see, our enemy... Our Guardian still has three out of its health points. It's only vulnerable for a couple more seconds. I wonder if I can even get in there. I'm about to take you out, fool. Oh, from behind, hero double kill, and I got the revenge. Oh, please. Oh, no. Uh, you know what? That was a bad choice on my part. I've got five skill points. Uh, let's go ahead and bump this one up. Dodging, yeah, let's do that. Uh, 10% more damage. 
Uh, Q ability, which I use frequent. Second attack is replaced with a roll for pushing enemies on bump. First hit weakens enemy. Um, and then second hit intensifies the weakness. Hitting raises your left critical hit by 100%. And then E ability, hit or splash kick, crashing waves. Double damage. Let's do double damage. I'm out of skill points now. Our, our guardian is under attack. I'm not going to lie, I'm not entirely sure how to win at this game, or what I'm really supposed to be doing. Ah, oh, my bad. I was trying to get in there and save my teammate, but as you can see, I had like three enemies kicking my butt. Let's see, toggle summary. Spectate, what's going on with my teammates? My teammates are doing really, really good. I'm gonna go down center lane. All right, let's do this. I think we can get the win right here. We're gonna be attacking it in about 12 seconds. Let's see if I can sprint over there for the kill. Here we go, boys. This is where we finish the game. This is where I'm going to win it right here. And we win the game. Oh, victory. Your team killed the enemy guardian. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. What is going on? Who is that? Look at those weird graphics. Developers, if you're watching, there's a glitch right there. Now, I think this is probably the end summary screen. I hope it doesn't glitch out on me. I want to see what happened to the game. Because to be honest, if I'm the MVP, that would be a blast. That would be a, a hoot. Hoot and a holler. Well, I'll give it like 10 more seconds. Here we go. Match complete. Gain some experience points. I got 400 crowns. I got mastery rank one, earning me five gems. I got my first win of the day. Common, arcane, initiation. I completed it. I am now rank two, giving me another 100 coins. Here is the scoreboard. I got the most kills with 12 kills. My efficiency was about 4.2%, I'm assuming. The other team got, let's see, longest kill distance, longest multi-kill kills. I was the most kill out of anyone. Guardian damage, I also did second, maybe third damage. Orbs, I didn't collect any orbs. I died five times. Looks like the trip did not do very good, though. She got 11 deaths. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, to kind of round up or gather my thoughts on this game, I am honestly thoroughly impressed with what I saw. The only thing that I would want them to change or maybe work on um, is there's a, you know, a couple of glitches that we saw. Uh, the mouse controller on the menu system seems a little bit slow. I'm not sure that's due to like mouse acceleration. And uh, there was one other thing. Oh, cues were, were terrible. I'm, I'm sorry, but they were. They weren't very good. Um, it, was, it was pretty bad. Uh, I, I would sit in queue for maybe about three to five minutes and then it would pop up saying there was a match ready I would click accept and then all of a sudden it would out of nowhere just like sorry like someone declined and that happened maybe t ten times now that may be due to maybe like a jerk player out there that kept canceling the, the match or whatever or due to the fact that it is still in its closed beta and the open beta doesn't start for about another week but uh, other than that I really really enjoy this game and I look forward to making more content for it uh, guys, thanks so much. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Keep an eye out for more, uh, for more gameplay of Gigantic. That was extremely fun. Okay, thanks guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.